turn around a little closer so you can see. Verse 43. <clears throat> you have heard it said, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to, to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors do so? Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Well, what does that mean? Does anybody know what this is talking about? <clears throat> Let's say somebody at your school is being a bully to you, and every day after school they meet you and they're going to either take your money, or before school they're going to take your lunch money, or they're going to beat you up, and they're just terrible to you, and they make you cry and you feel terrible. And most of us are going to go, oh, I really hate that person. I really hate them, I can't stand it. And even now, at my husband's job, his boss, his own boss, is yelling at him and saying very th things that aren't nice at all. And that's terrible, his boss shouldn't be yelling at him. My husband's just trying to do his job. And so he's coming home really upset. And so what I told him today is I said, you need to listen to the children's story because you pray for those who you think are your enemies. Now what does that mean in real life? Can you see this? Guess who that is? What does he look like? Does he look like me? <laughs> does he look like me? I think he does. It's my dad. That's my dad. He's 91 years old. And I really love him. But I didn't always love him. When I was young, he wasn't around much. He was always working. And he never said when we were little, oh, I love you so much. I never heard him say that at all. Until he moved away. My parents got divorced when I was around 16, and he moved away. And then I got to college. And when I was in college, he would start calling me every couple weeks. And he would end the call by going, I love you. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> where did that come from? Because I never heard him say that when I was little. Never, ever, ever. So that was foreign to me. And I want to say that went on for about 20 years, for a long, long time. Whenever he called, he'd say at the end, I love you. And I could never get myself to say it back because I never heard it and I wasn't used to saying it. And then one time, I think it was around 15 years ago, at the end of the phone call, he said, I love you. And I was like, I love you too, Dad. <coughs> That felt so weird, because I had never said it to him, never in my entire life. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. But then from then on, and I didn't really feel it, but I made myself say it. And then every time I talked to him after that, which is every couple weeks he would call me, every time at the end of the conversation, I love you, I love you too, Dad. And guess what happened? After years and years and years of that went on, I started to feel it. And so I didn't have to pretend to say it. I could say it and go, I feel like I love him. I love you too, Dad. And it wasn't something made up. I really felt like I loved him. And at this point, I really loved my dad. So over years now, my dad wasn't my enemy, but it was someone I didn't really get along with that I wasn't really close to. But over years of saying, I love you, Dad, I do 
do love my dad. And I was there last weekend visiting with him. And I realized now he's 91. I hope he lives another 10 years, but who knows? You know, he's already pretty old, so he could die at any time. So now I'm really happy that these maybe 15 years I've been saying, I love you too, Dad. And I don't even have to wait till the end of the conversation. Sometimes in the middle, I go, I love you, Dad. So when the Bible says, pray for your enemies, at first it's going to be like, oh, I can't stand that person. What happens? But what happens when you're praying for them? Are you praying for them to fall down in a hole in the ground and hurt themselves? No, usually you're praying for something for God to bless them. And the more you do it, the more you know if Johnny's being mean to you at school and you go home and, oh, I can't stand Johnny. Oh, I can't stand him. But I'm going to pray for him tonight. And after a while, Johnny doesn't seem so bad to you. Maybe Johnny is coming from a bad home. And he's just repeating what he knows at home. So the more you think someone's your enemy, but you pray for them, after a while, you don't have that hate and anger in your heart anymore. You have love for them. And who knows, you might be that only person who's praying for him, because maybe they are a rough little kid. But you need to pray for him. Because God can work a miracle. And if you start to be nice because you don't feel angry towards him anymore, you might be that only person that's nice to Johnny and turn him around in his classes at school. And you might be God's blessing to Johnny. So the Bible's really, really smart. And I did put this into practice myself many, many years ago. And it felt really weird at first, but it does really work. So I want to advise you to try that. If you're angry at somebody or have a problem with somebody, pray for them and you'll be amazed at what God can do in your life. And that's my story for today. Who would like to pray for us? <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us to church to learn more about you. Help us to put everything we learn into practice so we can also teach others and help them know what to do because we've done. Thank you, Lord, for all our families. And please protect and bless the people who are here. Heal the people 